CAT 2024 slot 1 LRDI section puzzle number 4 this was about a game of quiet which is being played between two teams there were six teams 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 they play in quiet tournament these teams are divided exactly in two groups this group A and group B each team plays every other team in the same group only once there's a three teams here three teams here so the group a the team one for example gonna play once with team two and only once with team three the same way two would play one game with three and each team in other group exactly twice. That means, let's say, if this is four, this is five, and this is six. We're just assuming it, just to understand you. So one going to play two matches with four. One going to play two matches with five. And one going to play two matches with six. And one match here, one match here. That means one team going to play eight matches. And there are six teams. So they're going to be total 48 matches in uh, they're going to be 48 times they're going to play and because every match has two teams that means number of total matches going to be 24 i think this is quite clear very easy to understand one going to play eight matches team two going to play eight matches the same way team three four five and six so all of them will be playing 8, 8, 8 matches. That is 8 into 6, 48. But every match has two opponents. That means the total number of matches is 48 divided by 2, 24. The first thing that you have to understand. Second, the tournament has several rounds, each of which consists of a few games. Every team plays exactly one game in each round. That means in every round, in each round, any one team play only once. That means there are six teams. They're going to play only once. They're going to be six times they're going to play. And again, every match has two opponents. That means they're going to be every round going to have three matches. That means if I have to play 24 matches, the number of rounds has to be 24 divided by 3 because every round is three matches. There should be total eight rounds. That is the first thing which should be quite clear with the first paragraph. Now, this own formation can be deduced from the first paragraph itself. The additional things we'll do later. And with the first paragraph only, we can answer the first question, which is how many rounds were there in the tournament? The answer should be eight. Straight away, it is eight. I hope it is quite clear. Number two, question number two. What is the number of team? That play team one in round five. Now let's summarize the other information. Let's summarize this information now. Each team played against a team for the other group in round eight. That means from the other group. They did not play the same group in that round. In round four and round seven, the matchups, that is a pair of T items playing against each other were identical. Round five and round eight also were identical. Team four played six in both round one and two. Let's let's make some rounds first of all. So we'll do able to summarize it because in CAT it is very important to summarize. If you're able to summarize, then you can easily solve the question. Let's make a table for it. Let's make the information count so there's round one round two round three round four round five round six seven and eight at the bottom we will write the matches who is playing against whom So the first information which they have that says each team played against a team from other group in round eight so here we can just write a small thing that in this group round eight there will be match between a versus b because they're going to play other teams not the same group we're just marking everything so we don't need to come back and read the english again in round four and round seven the matches up 
were same and round 5 and round 8 also they were same so round 4 and round 7 they're going to have the same matches and in round 5 and round 8 the match is going to be same that means in round 5 also they're going to be a versus b both the groups will be fighting against competing against each other then the next line says team 4 played team 6 in both round 1 and round team 2 team 4 played versus 6 that means they both are on the opposite sides one is in group a other is in group b because you can't play your own team twice team 1 played team 5 only that means 1 and 5 are on the same team and that was in round 2 so here another match we have 1 versus 5 and they're going to be in the same group that means if i just say group a and group b the a group a has 1 as well as 5 and 4 or 6 has to be one has to be here and the other has to be here that means the rest two teams are two and three the next thing they say team three played team four in round three team three played team four team three played team four in round three And team one played team six in round six. That is also done. The next information we have in round eight, team three played team six, while team two played team five. In round eight, team three played team six and team two played team five now it's quite clear in every round a team has to play only once so in round two we have only team two versus team three that is left so round two is done here we are left with one versus four round eight is also done and the same has to be repeated in round five that means here also we have three versus six 2 versus 5 and 1 versus 4. Now this means 3, 2, 1. 1 and 4, they're going to be in the opposite teams because here team A is playing with team B. So 3 and 6, that means 3 here. So 6 has to be here. 2 and 5 they already on the different side and 1 or 5 has 1 or 4 has to be upon the opposite side so we are done with the team a and group a and group b also now let's go further the question which we have let's go on to that now the second question we have what is the number of team that played team 1 in round 5 in round 5 team 1 gonna play with team 4 so the answer to that question also we got. That's why I was saying it's very easy puzzle. You are just keep on doing it and you are getting the answers side by side. Now which team among the teams number 2, 3, 4 and 5 was not part of the same group? 2, 3, 4, 5. The group B has 2, 3, 4, does not has 5. That means the answer to this question is going to be 5. Bingo. So we are right on this also. We have not solved the complete puzzle and we are already done with the 3 question. What is the number of the team that played team 1 in round 7? This we have to find out. Let's start doing it now. Now, let's see the single team. Team 1 has to play with team 5 once. It is done. Team 1 has to play with team 6. That is also done here. This is done. Team 5 has to play with team 6. That is still remaining. And they can't be into R4 or R7 because they have to repeat. And in the same group, we can't have the matches again. So 5 versus 6 can't be in R4, cannot be in R7. 
and six already has played in round one. That means five versus six. That has to be in round six. Oh, six already that has also been done. So round three that means. We left with round three. So here we should have five versus six. And as soon as we get five versus six, we are left with one versus two. So that is here. So round three is also done. Round five is also done. Round eight is also done. And we have to talk, find out round seven right now. Now five and six is also done. Now two has to play with three once. That has not been done yet. Two has to play with four. Sorry, two has three has already played. That is here. Two versus three. That is already here. Let's just throw it a bit bigger so I can see that. Two versus four. That is yet to yet to be there. And three versus four. That also has been done. Now two versus four. That can't be in round four and round seven because they had to be repeated. Again, the same logic. We can't play two matches with the same teams because they're the same group. And four already has played round one. So we are left with only round six. There should we have two versus four. And the remaining we have three versus five. Round six is also done. Now everything has to be repeated. Now one has to play with two twice. So that has to be, of course, we need to find out first of all, has one played with two anywhere? Yes, one has played with two here. And here we can't take it because then it becomes three times. So one versus two going to come here. And the remaining we have three versus five. That will be here. Now one has to play with three twice. One has to play with three. That is uh, yet to come. So we can play here one versus three. One versus three. So one is playing with three in round seven. So I got the answer to that question which you were trying to solve. Team one in round seven, team three is playing with that. That's it. The next question you have next puzzle. Oh, we have one more question. Okay, sorry. What is the number of team that played team six in round three? Team six in round three, that is team number five. The answer for that we already have with us. That is also done. I believe that is the last one. We don't have anything after this. Yes, then they have a new question. So that is it. It is so simple. I hope guys were able to do it in the exam also. Like I were able to do very easily. Wish you all the very best for the result. And uh, do subscribe us. Like, comment and share this if this could help anyone. Thank you so much for watching.